Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and today we are back with more Heartstopper. Season 3 just came out. I am so excited to start watching it, to get back in with my sweet baby boys, Nick and Charlie. Um, if you have seen my Heartstopper reactions in the past, you know that I feel like they are my babies. I feel like a protective aunt over them and I'm very excited that we're back and that we are getting into part of the story that, shocker, if you watched my seasons one and two reactions, you know that I had not read the books at that point in time, but now I have. So now I'm nervous because I kind of know what's gonna happen this season to a certain extent. And I, it makes me more excited because I know that we're gonna get some great moments. And it also makes me nervous because I know we're gonna get some moments that um, are gonna be a little tough. So let's do a quick little recap on last season. We had our school trip to Paris. Nick and Charlie are publicly dating. Nick came out to people on the Paris trip and then it just kind of spread from there. I'm grabbing my fairy lights. Elle and Tao are together now. Tara and Darcy said that they love each other and yeah, like everyone ended on a really good note last season. Um, Charlie opened up to Nick about some of his struggles with his mental health, with the bullying he experienced in the past, with some things about self-harm and eating disorders, and Nick and Charlie just grew so much closer. And as we were ending the last episode of season two, we saw that Charlie started typing out I love you on his phone, but he didn't send it. And I'm so excited. I can't wait because the first episode of season three is called Love. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that today. And I'm so excited, I can't wait. Um, I feel like I could say more about the last two seasons, but <laughs> honestly, I just wanna start watching. So. I'm very excited to get back into it. I love this show. I love these characters. I can't wait. So we're gonna start and go right in to season three of Heartstopper, episode one, called Love. Ooh. Whose room are we in today? This isn't Charlie's room or Nick's. Tori! Aw, love Tori! something to tell you. <laughs> I love you. This is so cute, he's practicing! Uh, and you don't have to say it back yet. Oh. I mean, but I hope you do. I love my sweet baby. I don't want you to feel pressured to so. say <laughs> Stop spying on me. God, imagine just not that long ago he was still fussing with his hair trying to make sure he looked perfect for a date with Nick. And now they're in love. I don't want him to have to say the awkward I love you too because he feels obligated to. You don't think he feels the same? He's literally obsessed with you. Oh. <laughs> We're going to the beach today and then he's on holiday for three weeks, so. Three weeks? That's a long time. You don't want him to go away without telling him. Ah! Hi. Hi, babies! Hi. I love them. I'm so excited. I have. <laughs> what? I love them. I'm gonna cook us a candlelit dinner. Cute! With the power of romance! <laughs> oh, I love seeing Tao happy. Tao was so serious in the first season, and then last season was just like, they were just going through it for a while. I love seeing Tao happy. Look at the group! I'm so happy! Isaac! Oh yeah, Isaac um, started to realize that he might be on the ace spectrum last time. <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> Let him be like... <laughs> no, I don't really burn, I just tan. You just tan. Nick, we're going in the sea. Alright, one second. <laughs> you coming? I... Maybe in a bit. Okay. You got a little bit of, um... Just <laughs> all over, actually. You Stop just... It. Everyone needs sunscreen, Charlie. Very true. SPF protects you. Nick! Stop kissing your boyfriend and hurry up! 
I, what if they want to keep kissing? The ocean will still be there. Close your eyes. Give me your hand. Da, 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 da. What is going? Oh, Ow. cute. So, one, two, so we're matching that. E for L. This is the sappiest thing you've. I love it. I love it. Tears in Troy. No, tears in Tao. You okay? You seem kind of stressed out. I want to tell Nick that I love him. <laughs> Charlie, you're already dating him. Yeah. <laughs> I love Isaac. Well, why don't you just sit here staring at him all day instead, then? <laughs> I don't really get the appeal. And that's totally valid, babe. I've never seen someone really attractive and just felt like... butterflies. No. Sometimes you don't look at people and think they're attractive. I'm immune. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cute. Do you think you're asexual, then? Probably. Uh, probably aromantic, too. We love the representation. I don't really know what that is. That's all right, you can Google it later. <laughs> They'd be supportive. No, I know they would be. Yeah, honestly, I, I just can't be bothered to give everyone a vocab lesson. Yeah. It's hard to feel like you need to educate people, you know? Throwing the chips. Just Oh, baby. Love it, love it. Hello. Oh. <laughs> you don't read. You can always get some ice lollies out. Go somewhere just that. Do you guys want ice lollies or are you just gonna keep flirting? Uh we're all full up actually. Sorry. I love them. Ugh. Nick is so me. How's life living with your girlfriend? Yeah. Skits. <laughs> She might be moving out soon, though. Really? She's been chatting to her gran a bit on the phone, oh. and she wants Darcy to live with her. I think that's a good idea. You're in high school. You don't need to spend every second together, you know? I know you want to, but it's a lot very quickly, you know? When someone you love's in trouble, you do anything to help them. Yeah. Am I the only one who's stressed about starting sick form? Guess I've just been distracted by... Charlie? <laughs> Yeah. There's something I need to talk to Charlie about. There's something serious. It's hard to know how to talk to him about it without making things worse. Yeah. You're doing your best. But you just have to let him know that you love him. And that, you know, you, you're you just trying to support him. Come and see with me. Yeah, spend some time just you and Nick. I love them. I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> oh. I think you have an eating disorder. I've been doing some research and um, I know you don't want me to try and fix you or anything. Oh. Not much. I can see how much worse it's been getting recently. I've just been trying. I don't think I do. Oh, this is so hard. I, I know that I've got some issues. <laughs> I don't think they're that bad. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, he's doing it because he cares about you, babe. I think he maybe should have brought it up to, like, Tori first. Because it's, it's not easy to deal with that kind of stuff on your own. Whether you're going through it or you're watching someone you love go through it. It's all very hard and you need like a, a support system because it's a lot to deal with on your own on both ends hey he googled it love that right i'm gonna go and have a shower because i've got sand everywhere movie after only if it's not marvel <laughs> that's so funny because now he's an agatha all along <laughs> Okay, this would drive me crazy a little bit. Maybe you should try living with your grand. I live with my dream girlfriend. Yeah, but you're what, 16, 17? That's a lot. Sometimes you need to be alone. I love waking up with you and I love spending every day with you. But I think we need some personal space too. I think that is a healthy boundary. 
We'll try it. I'll call her. I know this summer's been a lot. Thank you. For everything. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad that it was easy and painless. Well, are you sure you don't need any help? No, I can do it. I'm making dinner for my girlfriend. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> don't burn down my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Tao's mom. Okay, we can just order pizza. No, I promised you a summer of romance. I'm going to have a romantic candlelit dinner. So we can have a romantic candlelit dominoes. Yeah. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't want to lose How? you. How? Can you just calm down for a second? I'm not going to dump you because you're a terrible girl. I wouldn't say terrible. <laughs> Maybe not my strongest skill, but... You, you got time. You're a teenager. Let me treat you this time. Oh, that's sweet. And he's like looking at these moments. Of course you have to tell Nick you love him before he leaves. Hey, mom, we're in the middle of trying to tell our boyfriend that we love him. Give us a minute. Nick? Yeah? My mom said I have to go home. Oh, uh, okay. Um, just give me two minutes I can walk you home. You know when we were in the sea? Yeah. <laughs> He's just in the shower. <laughs> I was actually going to say that... Come on. I love you. <laughs> oh, Nick, baby, how do you feel? How are we doing? Anyway, I, I, I can walk myself home. Bye. Oh, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Put on clothes and run after him. Well, you said when he was in the shower, babe. Such an idiot. No, you're not. You sweet little beautiful baby boy. <laughs> Literally, not even shoes. Just put on pants. He's an athlete, he can run to him. Johnny! <laughs> Hi. I love them. And it's like a parallel because Charlie ran after Nick after they kissed. All right, can you say what you said again, please? It's embarrassing. No, it's not. I love you. <laughs> and you don't have to say it back, I just... I wanted to tell you because you're going away and I won't see you for a few weeks. I love you too. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, my baby boys! Come here, you idiot. I love them. It's everything. Uh, I love them. You're the one who said I love you for the first time when I was in the shower. <laughs> Why are we like this? Because you're Charlie. You love me. <laughs> well, I love you. Oh, this is amazing. This is incredible. I'm so happy. <laughs> Can I walk you home now? You're not even wearing a shirt. Or shoes. I saw you peeping at me on the beach. <laughs> it's allowed. Yeah, your boyfriend. We're in love. <laughs> I don't know that you're going to walk to my house with no shoes on. Yep. Yeah, that's how I love her. I think you'd do the same for me. Yeah, I would. Oh, I love them. Oh my god, that was episode one. Uh, starting off with a bang. I am so excited for this show to be back. Um, one thing I remembered after we started watching it that um, I didn't mention in the intro. I do know that Olivia Coleman is not in this season of Heartstopper, unfortunately. But I know that we're going to get a moment that happens with Nick and his mom in the books with Nick and his aunt instead so i do know that that is coming sometime and i know we're getting a little cameo from jonathan bailey we love johnny bailey and i'm very excited to see him in uh whatever episode he pops up in this episode was so cute oh i love it i feel like i feel like you know we kind of just picked up right where we left off it's summer we're in love everyone's kind of everyone's kind of doing pretty good 
like in terms of their their couples and their relationships Charlie and Nick are in love, Tara and Darcy are in love, Elle and Tao are doing a whole summer of romance thing before Elle goes off to, uh, to art school. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited. Um, I'm nervous about where things are gonna go with Charlie and how he's doing mentally. I was a little nervous when Nick started to bring up that conversation in the sea, a little bit, but you know, we're all good. We're, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good, we're gonna take care of each other, and we're gonna be happy and things are gonna go well. I want everything to stay really good, but I know that it's probably not gonna stay really good because Charlie's not really doing well, um, and it's becoming more and more obvious to Nick, which is concerning, and now they're spending three weeks apart and that's a long time, and who knows how much worse it would get It'll in that time period, I don't know. But we are just gonna dive right into the next episode because it's Heartstopper, I have to keep watching more. Um, so we are going to start Heartstopper season three, episode two, called Home. Here he is, my favorite nephew. Hey. Uh, shame mom had to pull out. Yeah, well, there's always next year. Yeah, it's okay. Does that mean she'll be in season four? <laughs> They're so cute. I feel like it's kind of always like that when you say I love you for the first time You're like, oh my god, now I can say it whenever I want yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is Menorca? Okay, staring at your phone's not gonna make him land any faster, babe. Can you tidy up a bit in here, please? The room looks a mess. Did you do it? Yeah <laughs> And he said it back? Yeah So we were in the sea and, and Nick was like, he said that he was worried that I... <laughs> oh. I, Nick, I English to can't hear you. Charlie. Oh. Charlie. Nick. Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't see any tidy. Hang on. It's been like 30 seconds. God. I don't like his mom. We need to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? We're not. Charlie, I'm not stupid. You came home yesterday wearing his clothes. Well, that's... It's because their boyfriends, their wardrobe is doubled. You're literally making a problem out of nothing. I'm only... Thank you, Tori. Can you please not undermine me like that in front of him? You were being too harsh. Yeah, Tori knows what the real problem is and you clearly don't see it. I was just talking to my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <gasps> well, we have a lot to catch up on, don't we? How about once I've unpacked, you give me the full story over a glass of red and some breadsticks? Yeah, sounds good. Is he gonna be having a glass of red? How old is he again? 17? I guess it's not that young to, you know, with family. Oh yeah, they're to him and the, they're together, right? Hi. Are Hi. they still together or are they 11 not? 11 o'clock on the dot. You know me. I do. GCSE results, uh-oh. They're doing this already? That's stressful, don't like that. Never want to see test results. <laughs> Stop it, you don't have to be on cue. It's so Nick and Charlie coded too. You are playing a very dangerous <laughs> game. Fun though. Oh, I know. But if the kids find out. I know. It's none of their business, but they'll find out. Speaking from experience, we'll find out. Where's Nick? That's Nick. Great, thank you. Victoria's break. I hope you'll be joining our Roxbridge prep group in September. Oh, that's exciting. How do you do? Are those good scores? Or is it out of 10? He did amazing! We really need to meet Charlie. I'm dying to know what he's like. You have to bring him around for Christmas because he needs family approval. I love how supportive they are. It's so sweet. I'm not him fantasizing about Charlie being here. Oh. oh. I hate this. It's such a. Oh. It's so real, but it's so hard. Oh. You look like a lovesick puppy, dear nephew. <laughs> oh, I love that. 
Well, I am a qualified psychiatrist, so actually I made the rules. It's a good person to be related to in Nick's situation right now. Do you now. treat people with eating disorders? It's not my speciality, but it tends to go hand in hand with other things. Why? I don't know. Just curious. It wouldn't be bad to ask for some advice. It could help you too. Isaac! Oh, talk to Isaac! What are you up to? Nothing much. I'm worried he's been alone in this bedroom for a week. What? Oh. What's up? I'm worried. I don't know. <sighs> I love you. I don't need to cry this early on in the show. I love Tori. <laughs> oh. When's Charlie getting here? Poor Isaac. Mm. Well, you're ticklish, but oh. Okay, doing this in front of... No. Okay, being in a couple is one thing. But doing this in front of the only other person in the room? That's not okay. <laughs> Oh, God, oh, this... I, I'm gonna head off actually, I guys. Hate that. No, Isaac, please. Don't leave. We love you. It's we all good. Love you. No, we'll do this another time. Have a good one. But five we... minutes. Just five more minutes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be around that either. You're missing movie night. Yeah, I mean you're not missing much. It's just towering out all over each other. I mean, sit closer. This feels very impersonal. What's going on, Charlie? Yeah. Our friendship group is just all over the place at the minute. We've barely done anything together all summer, and um, and I'm just feeling a little bit left out, to be honest. Yeah, baby boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm just sorry. It's fine, Charlie. It's it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. We love Isaac. Isaac's always been a really good friend. Just don't feel like doing anything. Well, that is concerning in and of you itself. Promise that's it. You can at least reply to my text, though. Yeah. I will. Sorry. Oh, it's so hard because if you don't want to get help, then you're not going to get help no matter how many times people ask her, are you sure you're okay? You promise you're okay? You can tell me anything. But if you don't want to get the help from someone, then it's not going to work. Mm, that's the issue we're dealing with right now. Week three. Tori, are we, uh... Oh! Who's your best friend? Probably my brother. Are we see more of Tori this season? I'm actually really excited about that. Dad's done a roast. It'll be absolutely flavorless, but you know he loves doing a roast. Okay. Oh, I'll come down now. What was that about my cooking skills? <laughs> it's harsh. Real harsh. <laughs> see, I like their dad. I don't like their mom. <gasps> she gonna look at what he was saying. <gasps> oh. We Google everything nowadays. Am I gay? Do I have an eating disorder? I mean, look. Relatable. Oh, and she's reaching out to Nick. Good. That's good. That's what I wanted. But it's the last night before... before you leave. Tao. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not leaving? But it still feels like you might, you know, <laughs> move on. I mean, it's not like she's disappearing. You can still talk. You'll still be able to see each other on the weekends. Lambert is important to me. I want to make art, I want to make new friends, and I want to have all kinds of new experiences. But that doesn't mean I like you any less. Yeah, there can be room for new things and the things that she already loves. I love you. Wait, really? No, I'm clearly joking. I love you too. <laughs> I love you so much. I just thought it was too soon to say it. I mean, maybe it is. I don't. We've been new, babe. But like, y'all have a history too. Like, you were friends for the longest time before you started dating. I think at that point, it's e easy to fall in love quickly. You know, when you switch from being friends to something more. I think that was the reassurance that he needed. How does nobody else notice this? Like, how are his parents not noticing this? Charlie, is something wrong? Are you not feeling very well? Don't tell me. Is it the seasoning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom. 
I'm so nervous. I don't like this at all. Oh, that's not the bathroom, that's your bedroom. I'm so nervous. Please answer the phone and have reception. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Are you okay? I was just wondering if you've been eating okay. <laughs> oh my baby. I'm so I'm so sad. I'm so nervous. I... Oh I think you were right. Oh Oh this is so important though. I think I do have an eating disorder. Oh. Sorry. Charlie. It's okay. Don't apologize for having an eating disorder, baby. I can't talk to them. I can't tell my parents. My mum's not like yours. She doesn't listen to me. She gets angry at me. But talk to Tori and go with Tori and Nick to talk to your parents. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's not your job, baby. Are you in here texting Nick? We're having a family dinner. I wasn't feeling very well. Can you not see that he was crying? Charlie, you can't keep skipping dinner. You have to eat. I don't feel well. Come on, come downstairs. I'll get you some paracetamol. Oh. You've had something on your mind this whole holiday. Yeah. Charlie has an eating disorder. Uh, are you sure? Been getting really bad recently. I'm trying to get him to talk to me about it, maybe talk to his parents or something, but he says he just can't. Oh, it's so hard. I just want to hug them and tell them that everything's going to be okay. I can't force him to eat because then it will just make him more upset. It's not your job, baby. You can't fix someone. You can't force them to get better. You just have to love them and let them know that you're there. I really love him. Oh. And I'm scared. Oh, come here. Oh, darling. Oh, my heart is breaking. That's that so is much. A lot to put on the shoulders of a that's literally was I, what I was just about to say. Is that's so much to have on your shoulders? I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to fix him. Maybe you can't. I have to. Be. I'm, I'm his boyfriend. I know. Baby. Charlie needs someone who isn't his 16-year-old boyfriend. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. Yeah. Love can't cure a mental illness. Oh. That's the line. <sighs> Fuck. You can be there for him. Just to talk. Or listen. Yeah. Cheer him up when he's having one of his bad days. Encourage him to hang out with Isaac. Standing together, even when it's hard. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Sometimes people need more support than one person can give. Is this not what I was saying before? Ooh, ooh, oh, just hit me. Just hit me that this is his aunt and not his mom, but I just started thinking about my nephew. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> she's getting emotional. Um, yeah, that was the thing that I was talking about in the beginning that I knew was gonna get me. I feel like we made a lot of progress in this episode, even though it was hard to watch them struggling, but we made it to a point where like, Charlie is now admitting that he knows that he has a problem, that he knows he has an eating disorder. And I think, you know, that's really the first step in him getting further help and now that Tori has also said that she's concerned um I feel like maybe Tori and Nick and Charlie can all go together to talk to his parents and find him a therapist or a doctor or a program something that will help him um going forward to be able to start to to get on the road to recovery also I feel so bad for Isaac I just want Isaac to you know, not feel like he's getting, like, pushed out of his friend group. That's so hard. And, like, when he was telling Charlie on the beach, like, oh, I'm asexual and aromantic, you can Google it later. I don't want to give everyone a vocabulary lesson. Like, I totally get that. It's not 
it shouldn't feel like your responsibility to educate the people in your life on who you are and how you identify. They should want to be able to understand you. They should want to be able to know more and educate themselves. Um, and I love that Charlie sent him a little screenshot of the Blur Von aromanticism. If this show had been on when I was a teenager, I feel like I would have felt so seen and so validated and I feel like there would have been so much less like inner turmoil if I had found this show as a teenager. Figuring yourself out is hard and you know figuring out your sexuality and your mental health do like balancing all of that all while being in high school and like being at an age where everything is changing it's so hard it's so confusing it's not fun it's not easy but you get through it and that's the important thing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching these two episodes of Heartstopper season three with me. I am so excited that we're back. We are going to be watching Heartstopper every single Monday in October and on Wednesdays in October we are watching season three of Bridgerton and on Fridays in October we are watching A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So make sure you like, subscribe, and stick around. We got a bunch of fun stuff planned for this month and I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are. I love you, you are valid, and I will see you all very soon for another video. Bye!